Sue Townsend has a very firm place in our university where she has deposited her literary and private papers in our library for all to use. And I'm very confident, and I certainly very much hope, that in the future we shall be awarding PhD theses on the works of Sue Townsend and the life of Adrian Mull. There are great possibilities for arts and social science students to engage in a whole range of inter interesting activities, interesting intellectual activities stimulated by Sue Townsend's marvellous work. Mr Chancellor, it is a great pleasure to present to you Sue Townsend that you may bestow upon her the award of Distinguished Honorary Fellow of the University of Leicester. Madam, I confer upon you the title of Distinguished Honorary Fellow of the Thank University of Leicester. Thank you very well much. Um, well, I was going to confess that um, I failed my 11 plus um, and my cycling proficiency. Um, I don't think I can actually talk and wear a cap at the same time. <laughs> a bit like President Bush, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the first I knew about the university was from reading Lucky Jim, a, a marvellous novel, one of my very favourite books by Kingsley Amis. Kingsley Amos used to work here, as did uh, Philip Larkin. He was a librarian. Uh, and um, Kingsley Amos wrote about the, the university, describing it as being a former lunatic asylum opposite a graveyard. <laughs> and that kind of set the tone. Um, and I did, in fact, come here on Saturday nights, and I did win that twist competition. And I won a bottle of bull's blood wine. There were only two types of wine in Leicester at that time. There was um, a Hungarian white and a Hungarian red. And you, you, you had to be, uh, have a very strong constitution to drink it. Um, I'm very, very conscious of the honour you, you, you give to me. It's very, uh, I'm, I'm very touched and, and moved. Um, and I would like to congratulate everybody who graduates today um, you've done brilliantly, and I bet you're sitting there thinking, that jammy Townsend. I've <laughs> I have sweated and we wept and guzzled coffee and probably over-the-counter amphetamines <laughs> to get my dissertation finished, and she just strolls along and gets one. Well, I, too, weep in the middle of the night writing my stuff. <laughs> it's a serious bu business, writing comedy. Um, in particular, I'd like to thank the parents of the graduates, because it must have been hell for you at times. Uh, but now, you've done, your, you've done the, the best thing you could do for a, a child. You can, with a good conscience, sell the house and, and move, move to Florida. <laughs> do, something, do something amazing for, your, for yourselves, because they have now, they should now fly the nest. I know, you know the economy is not exactly um, in, in their favour at the moment. They do leave with debts and it's difficult to get accommodation and so on. But I wish everybody who leaves here with a degree, I hope you'll find employment, uh, doing something that you love, doing something that makes you happy with people that, all, that you like and possibly love as well, because that's the best kind of work. And I, w I give you all my best wishes and love. Thank you. <laughs>